Why do Indians touch elders' feet? Simple and short answer is young ones get blessings from elder ones. But what's the big deal with those blessings? According to Ayurveda, the feet are a powerful point for the transfer of energy in the body. The feet contain a high concentration of nerve endings that are connected to different parts of the body. When the youngsters touch elders' feet, it's like an epic high five of energy exchange. Hands contain more sensory receptors. Feet are often referred to as transmitters of energy for its structure which is designed to distribute the muscle energy efficiently. But can we explore this further to gain a better understanding? Human body has electricity flowing all through it. Thoughts are nothing but electric signals and different thoughts have different electric activity in brain. And we all know, these electric signals travel through nerves. There is another form of energy which gets transferred with this as well. That's magnetism. The esteemed scientist Michael Faraday stated that wherever there is electricity flowing through a conductor, a magnetic field is generated around it. Consequently, when a person touches the feet of their elders, they can perceive both electric and magnetic energy forms. If the person bestowing blessings is in a positive state of mind or if positive thoughts are coursing through them, the person receiving the blessings can absorb positive energy. This energy has the potential to enhance their well-being, induce calmness, and foster a positive mindset, which is crucial for effectively dealing with any situation. It's simply a way to tune our brain to think in a constructive way. However, how can we be certain that the person giving blessings is solely emitting positive energy? It is important to seek blessings only from individuals who are deserving of our respect and are our well-wishers. Education, wealth, and fame can often lead to unwanted pride in individuals. So, seeking blessings by humbly touching the feet of elders is an excellent way to cut ego and cultivate humility. One question may arise. Why is it inappropriate for elders to touch younger feet then? Due to the accumulation of life lessons and experiences, older individuals are generally expected to possess more energy than younger people. If younger individuals demonstrate extraordinary maturity and prove themselves worthy, it is acceptable for elders to touch their feet. An instance of this is when elders touch the feet of a younger priest, despite the age difference. In such cases, the priest is revered as equivalent to a deity due to their profound Vedic knowledge. Henceforth, when someone touches your feet, bestow upon them sincere blessings with genuine intent. Also, when you touch someone's feet, accept the blessings with genuine intent. Feel the significance rather than merely performing it as a customary or ritualistic gesture. Remember, where attention is directed, energy follows, and life flourishes. Please comment if you have anything to add. The best comment will be pinned for everyone to learn. Subscribe to this channel and join me in this journey to explore the reasons behind our traditions together. Jaya Hanuman. Jaya Hind.